Hi everyone, um, I'm Fabian and I'm the founder and CEO of Five Run. So what, what we do is, is what many refer to as bringing the Apple Store shopping experience to the traditional brick and mortar retailer. Um, so everyone here likes online shopping. Uh, it's, it's easy, it's fast. Uh, you see something you want to buy, you can hit buy it now, you can save it for later, you can research it. But who here likes shopping at Best Buy or Office Depot or something? It's just, it's just not fun, it's not interesting, it's not unique. But there's a reason why we don't like it. It's not just because we hate walking into a place or we've all turned antisocial. There's actually a fundamental reason why that happens. So short story. So let's, let's go down memory lane. Um, in the 1990s, this was the biggest evolution that happened for retailers, these kind of green screen terminals. Because the, the, before that, from 1920 to 1990, you had these clickety-clack machines, right? And in fact, some retailers still have those. But this was the biggest innovation, yet in 99% of retailers that you walk into, they still have that. It, it really hasn't evolved much. So the situation is something fundamentally different happened and earlier, is that online shopping arrived and our expectations, in other words, I, I would even term it as our religious beliefs when it comes to retail shopping, got fundamentally changed because of online shopping. So one quick thing. This is our expectations on the left-hand side. We expect an unlimited product now. We expect to uh, buy it now. And we expect deep product data. How many times you're inside of a retail store, you're trying to decide which blender to buy. One costs $50 more, and you're wondering which one should you buy, right? You have no idea, just, just a label on the actual store shelf. You ask the associate, they know even actually much less than you do, and, and nine times out of 10 walk away from you. So it, it tends to be, our, our expectations don't align with the reality, which the reality is that the current retail experience uh, has none of our expectations, right? And so it, therefore retailers get frustrated, uh, consumers get frustrated and retailers lose revenue. So we change that. How do we do that? So from our software, we actually, we actually provide a tablet within the hands of the associate. So you can walk into a store, whether it's a jewelry store, it's a um, sporting goods, shoes, apparel, any type of, even a car dealership, and they can sell you not just the products that are on the actual shelf, but they can sell you the products from their online catalog in the same shopping cart. So let's walk through a simple transaction. I'm a guy, uh, this was actually a real life story, right? I'm, I'm a guy, I was looking, I was in, in the midst of getting married. Um, I went to several jewelry stores. Uh, asking about different, I, I had kind of settled my mind on what type of uh, cut of the diamond I wanted. So I was asking all these different questions. Well, do you have this one and this price and this one and that one? And, you know, they're looking through the back. And at the end of the day, they could only sell me what they had on the shelf. Of course, they have much more in different stores from their online catalog, the whole nine yards. So in that scenario, the associate could have went through her, her spiel, use our, our software at Five Run to actually sell me one of her products in their online store and then perhaps could have upsold me on a pair of earrings that are physically there. What she would have done is scanned the barcode for the physical earrings, added the uh, product that's from the online store and the same shopping cart. I would swipe my credit card once. I would have similar to this. I would have a, I could sign on the actual device and then I would have a receipt emailed to me and I walk out with the earrings and then the ring gets shipped to my home later or possibly even within the hour. So, in, in essence, what we're combining is the best of what we love from the traditional um, store, which is the help and people and the property, but also also combining it with the online experience behind that. So, some of our customers uh, are top retailers, uh, jewelry companies, fashion apparel, uh, car companies. Uh, we primarily work with, uh, I would say, in enterprise level retailers, typically with 100 plus stores or so. And um, all this is nice and pretty, but none of this would be exciting if it didn't synchronize with the retailer's existing backend. So all of that existing retail technology, everything that the retailer currently has, we synchronize with that. And from the retailer's perspective, they just simply pick up an iPad, put Five Run on it, and they can start selling and having a, a more advanced uh, sales experience inside their physical store. Um, so on our side, we're, what we're looking for is specifically, we have a ton of customers, and uh, if you have connections to retailers, we'd love to meet them. 
those, uh, but I think what we're more importantly doing right now as a result of the traction, I think we're live now in uh, seven different countries from Copenhagen to London to here in Palo Alto and Corte Madera. And so we're raising a round of funding. We're raising uh, a, a 1.2 million seed round of funding. So if you're writing checks, you should uh, come and talk to me afterwards. Excellent, thank you. All right, I'm gonna run around with a microphone. Who's got questions for Fabian? So is this just uh, when you're inside a physical store that you can purchase these items, or can I also be at home and access the inventory? So, so the, the, first, the first phase of our vision that we're targeting is uh, transforming the traditional retail experience. In other words, that brick and mortar uh, physical experience you have inside the store, right? Um, so what, what we actually claim is, <clears throat> what we actually claim is uh, turning the sales associates into superheroes. Uh, the next phase of our vision, um, we, could, we will potentially go down that path because ultimately we believe uh, commerce is not about e-commerce, it's not about in-store commerce, it's just about commerce. So the purchase decision starts at home and should, it should be carried on when you actually enter the physical store. So what is it going to cost to turn them into superheroes? It's, it's actually very straightforward. Our, our business model is a software as a service business model, and uh, retailers typically pay about $1,000 uh, ballpark per device um, on an annualized basis. And a typical retailer that we work with typically has about 100 to 150 stores and needs three to four devices per store. Yeah. So what retailers mean a lot of times you have, like, database. Oh, <laughs> So with retailers, I know just from talking to some people that work on like websites for large retailers, like they'll have one database for the web team and they'll have a whole completely independent web experience and different data for the web experience. And then they'll have another database for all the stores that the stores are accessing through their like point of sale type of register right. thing. How do you deal with that when... That's a, that's a fantastic question. And, you know, nine times out of ten, when we're sitting in front of a you know, major enterprise retailer, we say very succinctly, this, you, you can get that within 30 days within your store. They look at us like we're crazy. But the reason why that can happen is because w via our cloud platform, we have plugins that can synchronize with, all of, with the most typical existing retail systems. So think about, like, IBM, NCR, um, those, those type of guys without, in other words, use Fiverr and without needing to replace those systems, right? And so these plugins can support that. Those plugins can even support fully custom uh, made retail systems like mainframes, uh, AS400s, and things like that. Yes? Uh, just a uh, quick question uh, about the jewelry app you use in the demo. Uh, is that uh, uh, has that been developed uh, natively on iOS, or is it like a web app? No, so uh, all of our products are uh, native, it, native developed, and uh, it's fronted by our cloud platform on the back end. But they're, they're, they're native, native iOS. Are you getting any pressure uh, from retailers to work on other OS or other devices? That's a good question. Um, I would say here in the States, the most common, I would say, is Microsoft. Um, is, I think, the biggest pressure that we have. Um, and we actually love Microsoft also, too. A Apple's fantastic, but so we're, we're engaging with them at, and potentially uh, a couple of go-to markets. I'd say in Europe, um, we, we hear a lot from retailers that they love Apple, but Android seems to be a platform of choice when they're considering rollouts in general. Thank you. I'm back here. Anybody with a hand, raise it high. <laughs> All right, we have a, yeah, is there somebody? I think he's just leaning. <laughs> and from this vantage point, anybody? All right, Fabian, let's. Okay, well, thank you all. Call it that, thanks, good.